So my neighbor gave me this power wheels. It's a 12 volt model and it had the lead acid battery and the lead acid battery for some reason stopped working. Uh, she either let it sit or something, but normally there's a Fisher Price plug, which is like a two prong plug. And what I did here is I soldered on an XT60 connector, which is what I use for all my RC cars. And I got this three cell LiPo, which is 11 nominal voltage. And then this is 12.4 volts when it's fully charged. And I made a custom little battery tray for it to sit in here. Cause the other thing was really big. And then you have to have some way to know when this thing's getting low, cause there's not a low voltage cutoff in these things. It's basically a motor hardwired to a relay switch when the kid presses the pedal. There's no speed controller. There's no full voltage cutoff. So um, yeah, it's power going straight to the motors pretty much. So I set this LiPo alarm to 3.5 volts. And right here it'll say 11.3, which is what it's at. And each cell is at 3.79. And right here, you can set the low voltage alarm to come on. I have it set at 3. Point, let's do 3.6. But this will go off once the voltage is too low so you don't over drain your LiPo battery. Uh, this battery was really cheap actually, it was 20 bucks. And you need a, you need a charger to charge it. So if you don't have any RC cars, you'll have to go buy that. That's like 40 bucks. So for 60 bucks, you can have a super lightweight system in here and it should give you more runtime because you're not carrying around like a 20 pound battery. It feels like 20 pounds, maybe it's like 10, but you know, that's weight that you can use for carrying other accessories or your kid. And then this should give you way more runtime and overall power. So this just plugs into here like this and then it's on. And then all the switches work normal. The reverse and everything works like normal. So my son really likes it and we've been having fun with it. And this is, uh, you know, more power for cheap. And these batteries are super cheap. You know, they give you the lead acid battery because it's a safer option. You're not gonna really burn your house down. Like we're with a LiPo, if you overcharge it, you know, this thing can catch on fire if you don't know what you're doing. So if you're not super careful, this might not be the mod for you, but you know, this is a easy dirt cheap option to get more power and runtime for your kid's power wheel. And all you need to be able to do is solder so hope this video helps someone. Thanks. Bye.